All right. So my name is Dr. Fami as I've been introduced, and I run Montgomery Fertility Center, and I also am a clinical professor at George Washington University School of Medicine. So tonight I decided to shake things up a little bit so that I could invite questions, and I thought, you know what, let me tackle some of the myths that are out there, some of the fiction, if you will, the misinformation going on, and see what we could come up with. So I'm going to go through a series of about 14 um, fact fiction kind of thing with you guys. And then at the end, we will sit down and have a discussion. So the first thing I wanted to go over the fact is you hear this a lot. It's a woman's problem. It's always the woman's fault. And the truth of the matter is infertility or, or lack of fertility is actually one third male related, one third female related, and the other third is a combination. So you see, when you take it all in all, it turns out it's actually a 50-50 proposition. So it's it's not always a woman's fault, and we should, we should debunk that uh, myth. Now, another thing you might have heard is, oh my gosh, no woman can get pregnant after age 35. Well, the truth of the matter is maybe one in eight women have infertility, or depend on which statistics you're looking at, one in six, right? So that means that, you know, a lot of women out there are still having babies after the age of 35. So that's not true. Um, does male fertility have any factor to do with age? Well, while men are gifted supremely with the ability to continue to make more sperm, the fact of the matter is that sperm quality will decline with age. So we have a higher incidence of DNA fragmentation that continues to increase with age. And that can lead to aneuploidy, which I tend to look at as genetic accidents, is what I call them. When the DNA of the man, man and woman doesn't quite align well, you'll get errors in translation. So Men should consider freezing their sperm. And it doesn't matter what age, just do it because it's an ongoing decline. Now, another thing that you may have heard about is um, couples should try for a year before seeking help. I tend to disagree. I think if you've been trying for three to six months and you're not being successful, you should seek out help. At the very least, call your primary care doctor or go see a fertility specialist, but don't wait because invariably I see some people who may wait too long, especially um, my couples who are closer to 40 and above. So that's not necessarily a good thing. And now the American Society of Reproductive Medicine is even recommending for women around 40-ish, um, you probably wanna be more aggressive with those couples and, and get them to treatment as fast as you can. If you have irregular cycles, does that mean you are infertile? Mm, not necessarily, or because you don't know why your cycles are irregular. Is it because of early pregnancy, right? Common things happen commonly. So sometimes people will spot in pregnancy. Is it because you have polyps in your uterus that's making you bleed at abnormal intervals or even fibroids? Um, so if the menstrual cycles are not cyclic and you track it with a menstrual app, there's so many of them out there now that are very good and you're getting some irregularity, you need to have a workup done to figure out why. Don't just say, oh yeah, it's always been that way. Oh yeah, that's the way it is in our family. Find out why, because there may be an underlying serious problem. Another misconception is, yeah, infertility is an old people's issue. It never happens in young people. Not necessarily. So we always ask for men, for instance, have you had any trauma around your pelvic region? Some people might say, well, gee, I had mumps when I was a child. Or I had a case where a man was said, said he had an accident where his pelvic bone was crushed um, as a teenager. Or... Um, Young women also suffer endometriosis and fibroids. So that, that is actually not true. So if you can't get pregnant, it doesn't matter what age, 
please, please, please seek, seek help. Does stress cause infertility? That's another question that people ask. It's probably the other way around. The lack of fertility induces stress, right? So by relieving the stress, you may help treatment, but stress by itself does not lead to infertility. It's the other way around. Does food cause, uh, affect fertility? Not really. I think we go for having a general uh, balanced diet with good vegetables and, and berries. So food does not cause infertility. We usually tell patients to strive for a healthy mix of, of food um, will, that would help them. Infertility can always be cured. Not really. Sometimes you just can't treat it. Sometimes you can't cure it. And, and, and that's just the way it is. Um, your overall health does not impact your fertility. That's not true. So your overall health, if you have diabetes, if you have um, the renal problems, if you have general diseases or general overall poor health, that could affect your ability to, to get pregnant. Okay, oh, I'm sorry, I, yeah, there we go. Now, all fertility treatments are expensive. Not so. Um, I actually wrote a blog, so you can go to my website um, and also go to my LinkedIn site where I reviewed several articles where they looked at a combination of, uh, a combination of having um, the, ovulation app plus a combination of, um, you can look at a combination of fertility markers, for instance. So that would be um, things like, are you, let me rephrase that, I'm sorry. So things, things like your uh, app for fertility app, if you combine that with things like, um, Fertility markers, for instance, um, the incidence of uh, success goes up. So you can have interventions that are not expensive at all, and you can get success with that. If you have a successful pregnancy, does that guarantee that you will have future successes? Not really. So you might successfully get pregnant but not be able to get pregnant with a subsequent pregnancy. So you have that has to be looked at if, if someone is not successfully getting pregnant after having a previous pregnancy, there may be new things that have risen up that needs to be dealt with. So that is some of the facts that I went, that I sort of handpicked 